gangsters. I'm sorry um, for the belated birthday bonus, um, but I'm here finally with it. Um, yes, so right now we've got Mercury headed into retrograde. Um, Pluto just entered Aquarius. We've got the half moon in Leo. Very um, revolutionary energy for us, right? It's all about like that identity shifting right turning into a new us so let's see kind of what this new year has for you right because it is a new year for you in particular um happy belated birthday by the way uh and i'm sorry i'm late <laughs> but i'm here right better now than never so let's see who you are and what you need to hear at this time I love this. Okay, so we got the water element, right? And you are a water sign, Scorpio, right? This is all about reflection, kindness, and compassion. Um, I think this is also a reminder <laughs> um, to reflect that water in you, right? I think sometimes we get caught up in the day-to-day -day life and, and, um, and we forget that our strengths, are deeply rooted in our element, right? And for you, your strengths are your kindness, your compassion, your um, kindness, or wait, I said that, your kindness, your compassion, your loving, warm energy, right? That is you, right? That is um, some of the most important uh, aspects of being a Scorpio, I would, th I would say. You know, I mean, one thing that uh, that really resonates um, with the way I see Scorpios, right? Is Scorpios are very charismatic, great flirts. Um, statistically, you suck at being faithful, <laughs> but that's just statistically. It's it is what it is, okay. Um, but it's it also has a lot to do with the fact that you are very charismatic. It is in your nature to be kind of naturally a little flirty, right? Um, and so that's also one of your strengths, right? It makes you great at selling yourself. It makes you like in business, right? In customer service, in sales, whatever it is. It's like you're excellent at that because of this natural charisma that comes with being a Scorpio, right? People are drawn to that. It's a very magnetic energy. So let's see kind of who you are and what you need to hear at this time, a little scorpion. Um, okie dokie. This is my cat three clicks. Actually, it's <laughs> um, because I tried to name her. <laughs> I tried to name her Lucy, but it just never stuck. She only responds to, so that is her name. She has three clicks. <laughs> um, She's as weird as her name is, <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, back to the reading. Yeah, she's been loving the introductions of Noda. She's been all up in my readings today and yesterday. <laughs> all right, so what do you need to hear right now? What messages are important for my little scorpions. Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is a sword of truth, right? Um, but this is also with the cards surrounding it. I would feel that this is the card of seeking the truth, right? Um, 
Got that Horus energy just popping up. Um, and somehow with the Five of Cups, it's like this energy is tied to emotional disappointment. Um, feeling defeated, betrayed, whatever, right? And it's seeking a truth in this, right? Uh, it's like seeking to understand why something transpired or if something transpired, right? Um, I feel a lack of trust, <laughs> right? Coming with these cards showing up together, right? Um, it's like... Whether you're, you're struggling to trust a person. Yes, little. What is it? Three clicks. What is it? What is it? Yeah, so. Um, and it's interesting because we have the King of Swords in reverse here. Like somebody who is like really trying to like not be combative. Somebody who's really trying to put the sword away and be like, you know, um. Like, very anti-conflict. Like, they're trying to avoid conflict. Um, and it looks like somebody that you're dealing with, right? The swords also represents, like, honest communication. So you can feel that somebody is being deceptive with you, right? They're not being forthright. They're not being honest. Um, right? Perhaps you're coming to this conclusion with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse that, that something isn't working out. Right? That something just doesn't work. Um, or that somebody is not putting in the proper work for something. Whether that's you or somebody else, that's just the energy I'm seeing. Now we have the four of wands in reverse, right? Hey! <laughs> that was rude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have the four of wands in reverse. Um, and, uh, yeah, so this is all about, like, weak foundations, right? Somebody who's non-committal, um, perhaps somebody avoiding commitment or, um, this could also have to do with moving, Let's get to the nitty gritty. Okay, first of all, I want to know why there is this lack of trust, right? What is creating this lack of trust? Why do you feel that somebody is being deceptive with you? We've got the High Priestess in reverse. It's a spiritual doubt, right? Scorpios are so intuitive, right? It's like, you're very intuitive. And it's like when your intuition tells you that something is off, you listen, right? And your intuition is off the chain right now. It's like, something's wrong, right? With the Fool in reverse, Uranus energy. Very, very interesting. Uranus is in retrograde right now. With the full in reverse, I feel like your advice here is not to jump the gun. All right? Don't do anything foolish or stupid. Don't do anything impulsive. Um, don't allow yourself to act out of emotion. Right? Think logically. Think rationally. Okay, let's... let's uh, yeah. Really play connect the dots here, right? Because I'm here, I'm here to help. But let's let's really look at things from a logical perspective here, okay? Um, because yes, your intuition, you may be feeling like these fears, doubts, insecurities. That's what comes with the high priestess in reverse: fear, doubt, and insecurity. So, is it your intuition or is it your insecurity? about what has transpired in the past, right? Perhaps you're noticing certain traits or behaviors that you had recognized in previous partners or friendships or whatever, 
and you automatically are making these connections that don't really connect that way, but you could be connecting it that way, right? Because of your fears, doubts, and insecurities. Um, you know, like for example, if somebody had cheated on you in the past, right? And say you're in a new relationship and they start saying or doing similar type of things, doesn't necessarily mean this new person is cheating, right? But your intuition, or you might feel like, you know, I hate saying your intuition is wrong. I don't think anybody's intuition is wrong. I think that sometimes it's hard to discern what is intuition and what is fear, right? And, um, and so right now I feel that there's this, there's fear, right? Fear of replaying the past. Fear that somebody is going to be like other people in your past, right? And this could, you know, cause us to be a little bit distrusting, right? Uh, paranoid about their actions, the way they move, the way they sleep at night, the way they breathe, right? Uh, you know, it makes us second guess everything about a person. If we start noticing traits that remind us of people in the past who have betrayed us, right? And so, um, you're being called to kind of understand whether or not That is the case, right? To so use your logic in a situation to really discern, is this the case? Are they really doing these things or is this my fear speaking, right? So, what do the cards say? <laughs> is it your fear or is it the case, right? Let's find out. emotionally talking yourself out of a situation right with the queen of cups in reverse this is having a change of heart this is not feeling the same way that you once felt about somebody this is not um feeling as emotionally invested perhaps you're pulling back energetically and this could be out of fear right a lot of the times it's out of fear that we we pull back energetically when when we're in a connection or we love somebody right and it's like this fear of betrayal or this fear of whatever that kind of comes into play and it causes us to have this change of heart to move in a different way to not trust right perhaps you're looking you know, maybe it's subconscious, but perhaps you're looking for reasons for this to not work out because you, on some subconscious level, don't want it to work out, right? We have the Eight of Cups, or Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Something is not working out. Yeah. Get the <laughs> You're driving me crazy. All right, so we have the World card. And this is all about closing out cycles, right? This is about allowing a karmic cycle to end, allowing something to come full, full circle, full completion, right? Allowing something to end. One thing about this is like, it's okay to leave somebody without bad blood, right? If you feel that you're having a change of heart, if you're in a relationship um, and you feel that you're just not in it anymore emotionally, it's okay to be done. Um, and on the other side of that, if you're not in a relationship and perhaps you have been emotionally invested in somebody, but you feel that, it, you know, they're moving forward, they're they're perhaps into somebody else or whatever and you're having this change of heart you don't believe that they're actually um 
emotionally invested in you, it's okay to have that change of heart too and to move on without bad blood, right? We don't have to make enemies of everyone we leave. Um, even if the, it didn't reach a full relationship and you're just walking away from whatever situation or whatever. We have the Wheel of Fortune. I do see things working out in your favor. And this is when you get real specific about what you actually want. If you really wanted it, you wouldn't feel so much confusion and fear and doubt and insecurity around it, right? You would feel very secure in your connection. You would feel very stable. There wouldn't be confusion. There wouldn't be unrest in your soul, right? The right thing brings peace. The wrong thing brings turmoil, right? And so I feel that you're discerning that. And the quicker you discern that, the quicker you let something close out, the quicker you will find that which actually um, does bring you joy and happiness, the thing that actually does make you feel fulfilled, right? The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, but it turns the second that you decide what is not right for you and what is. We have two of swords in reverse. Right. Perhaps this is the ending of conflict. This is no longer fighting. This is no longer having the guard up. Allowing yourself to be soft. <laughs> um, I know you're a tough guy, but I feel that, you know, it's like you're no longer fighting for something anymore. Right? It's like you reach this point of surrender where you're like, okay. If this is not the thing, then it's not the thing. I'm not going to keep fighting for something that is not the thing, right? So it's surrendering to the outcome. We have four pentacles, right? And I see you getting really wise about money, right? Really um, starting to value financial stability, right? Really starting to turn your focus onto that rather than the relationships and emotional side of things, right? I'm seeing you turn your focus to your finances, to your personal stability, to um, your next chapter. Yeah, we have Ace of Pentacles. You could be taking on a new job, um, a new opportunity. Something is coming up though. This is a new cycle and this is a big opportunity for you, right? It's growth in a new direction and it is requiring you to let go of the old world, right? Life as you have known it. It's requiring you to close out old cycles. Yeah, with the Four of Cups in reverse, I see you accepting an offer here. All right, something that perhaps you considered rejecting. But I see you taking up an offer. All right, perhaps this is with the Four of Wands in reverse, this could be an offer to move. Um, with the Ace of Pentacles, this could be a new job, um, Wheel of Fortune, it could be anything, right? But I see you in this state of accepting, right? Because the Four of Cups in the upright is rejecting an offer. Four of Cups in reverse is accepting. Now uh, we have Nine of Wands, right? Nine of Wands is feeling wounded like you've suffered trauma right and i think that you're working through that right through this like dark night of the soul i also feel that you're coming to some conclusions in this right in this journey and you're deciding like whether to perpetuate certain cycles or whether to close them out right when you have learned from them and when you haven't eight of swords in reverse is like looking at a situation for what it is Rather than what we wish it to be. Rather than looking at potentials, we're looking at the facts here. If you were really happy, you would not be in fight or flight mode. 
If you were really content, you would not feel so guarded or so emotionally defensive or so, yes, mm -hmm. yes, I'm talking to you, cat. Um, but yeah, you wouldn't feel so restless emotionally, right? You just feel like very emotionally restless. Like something is just not panning out, right? And it's like when you look at the reality of that, you look at the reality of your feelings and, and your fears and what's going on, you start to understand that like, you're ready to release something, right? You're ready to, to push forward into this new cycle. Whether this is a job, whether this is in regards to family, whether this is in regards to relationships, friendships, whatever it is, you know? I just see that you're feeling the way that you feel because deep down inside you're already done with something. Right? And it's like you're seeking some external validation that it's done. But you've already validated internally that it's done. Right? You already did. Now it's just acceptance. Right? If there's anything else you need to hear before we close this out. We have the tower. All right, this is something coming to an end, right? This is allowing things to kind of fall apart that need to fall apart so that you can rebuild and build in the way that you actually want life to be. Get you out of this fight or flight mode, right? Because you're strong in it. And there are five of swords in reverse. This is surrender. Surrendering to the outcome. No longer fighting. Um, no longer seeing a purpose in the fighting, right? It's where you're just reaching this point where it's like, you know what? It is what it fucking is. Maybe that's just what it is. And and coming to terms with that and finding peace in that. We have King of Cups. Right? This is reaching a new stage in your maturity. Right? This is also focusing on the logic and reasoning um, and what's going on. Right? Filling your own cup. Uh, understanding that you are made out of love, right? You are love. The entirety of what you are is love. So why would you feel so out of character? <laughs> right? You're so out of character lately. What is going on with that dog? Something's putting you in this mode of just fight or flight. Like always feeling like you got to fight for something, right? whether that's internally or externally or whatever but you're in this very fight or flight mode and with the king of cups it's like you need to embrace the fact that you don't need to fight for what is yours right you don't need to fight for what is meant to stay in your life okay it took me fucking years to understand that i get it I fucking get it right um my venus is in pisces believe me i fucking get it right i was Fight to the death for things, you know? But the thing is, is that's just not you, right? And when you understand that what is really meant for you, what's really, um, what's really here in this world for you, you don't have to fight it and you don't have to fight for it. All right, and, and I see you coming to this emotional maturity. I see you coming to this understanding of your circumstances, of where you're at, and understanding um, that it's time to operate out of love again. All right, and that doesn't necessarily mean being in love. It means operating out of love. 
you know even even if you feel stressed out even if you feel at the end of your rope right the strongest thing you can do right because the strength card came out to operate out of love even when that's the scariest way to operate right because it makes us feel vulnerable it makes us actually talk about our feelings it makes us talk about our insecurities it makes us um, be forthright right and pull out from the depths of ourselves what is going on internally right what is happening on the inside that is creating this external situation you know i see a lot of strength here in you right you've got the strength card leo energy and you know how much strength it takes for that lion to sit there with his mouth wide open to not maul her to death, right? Like, he's just chilling and he's trusting and allowing her to just sit there and pet him without mauling her to death, right? That's, that's strength. That's restraint, right? Holding back from that primitive desire to just... <laughs> To just, <laughs> you know, you know what I mean, though. Uh, you know, holding back from the attack. That's real strength. And I see you tapping into it. I see you growing into a stronger, more poised version of yourself. I see you understanding. The fight is over, dog. It's time to operate out of love. You don't have to operate the same way that you did to survive now. You're out of survival mode. You're into thriving mode and you need to allow it. <laughs> right? You can have what you need and desire, but you must be prepared to enter into the sacred fire to make the appropriate offering. Shift from focusing on what isn't working to handing over all concerns as a prayer offering to the divine. All can then be resolved and shall manifest according to loving and generous grace. Mahavidya. No matter how logical an approach may be or how sensible it may seem, there are times when the heart nudges us toward a different way. Have the courage to be moved by your heart along untried paths that resonate, whatever the logical mind has to say about them. You are outgrowing a problem and birthing a superior outcome. Kalika Tantrika Kali overcomes karma, realigns us with our path when we have veered off course, reverses the momentum of negativity, and detaches draining energy cords, restoring us to full vitality. It may seem like your will is being thwarted or you are not getting what you want, but the goddess knows what she is doing and her actions will benefit you. Trust. By Ravi Yogini. Face your fears, for it is the right time and you are ready to overcome them. You will be given the power to fulfill your heart's desires. Embrace your path with confidence. Healing around belonging and abundance is taking place within your soul. You are spiritually protected from toxic energies. Recognize your inner divine badass and commit to your dreams with conviction. And this is what I have for you. I hope this was helpful. Namaste. I love you all. And I will see you soon.